serious what is a genuinely terrifying true fact. People can die suddenly without warning or symptoms of anything significant to give warning. Source lost my wife four years ago when she was only 23 to a heart attack precipitated by non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. No symptoms or risk factors leading up to it. She was skinny, in shape, energetic, didn't use drugs. Just got home from work one day and she was gone. If you don't get enough calcium when you're pregnant, the fetus saps it right out of your bones, leaving you brittle and vulnerable to osteoporosis. Autoimmune diseases are hella scary. One day the system that was designed to protect you thinks your own cells are pathogenic and decides to attack you. You can have a really bad disease for years and not even know about it, due it becoming dormant or latent. Essentially, the disease is asleep and you wouldn't have a clue it was there unless a doctor told you. You could go to the grave with it could wake up at the most inconvenient time. In South Africa it's reckoned up to 55 of the population has latent tuberculosis at this moment. We'll never know who the best serial killers are. When electricity was first made available for home use, the wires were not insulated and not hidden behind walls. People had live wires freestanding in their homes, at an arm's reach. Utter terrifying insanity. With our lifespan increasing due to modern medicine, we are at an increased chance of developing dementia. Women are eight times more likely to be murdered when they are pregnant. Half of the world's coral reefs have died in the last 30 years, and two thirds of the Great Barrier Reef have been damaged by coral bleaching. Your brain eats itself because of a lack of sleep, remember to sleep people. 40 of prostitutes in India are children. Antibiotic treatments are becoming less and less effective and common infections and minor injuries could become life-threatening. As someone that has uses them at least once or twice a year, antibiotic resistance is genuinely terrifying to me. It's like bacterial infections becoming viral ones. Our brains will not hesitate to remove something that is vital to us to keep us alive by programming it to die. Unlike other predatory animals, bears do not know to kill their prey before they start eating. They just start eating its prey while it's completely alive and conscious. That we need some way to replicate the ambient noise of the earth for extended stays in space. I'm not talking of cities, cars, etc. The ambient seismic noise the earth creates. Why? Because humans are so reliant on the noise that if we don't hear it we become more anxious. It's already a problem on the list of problems for astronauts who stay for long periods on the ISS. Edit for clarity. It takes only one second to change your life forever. I went from working 70 hours a week to being disabled. One second accident, life was forever changed for me. Also, life could change from bad to good as well. One second to buy that lottery ticket that wins. Out of everyone alive on earth right now, there is someone who is suffering more than anyone else. That surgeon who's getting ready to cut you open sometimes has nights when they can't sleep and they show up to work groggy as hell. Your bed has around 10 million dust mites. You have a 1-3 chance of developing dementia past the age of 85. An estimated 27 of people with sepsis in hospitals and 42 of people in intensive care units will die. Even more if you ignore it. Everyone can get a sepsis by any open wound, be it a sunburn or a mosquito sting, a blister from new shoes or a gun wound. The sun loses mass at a rate of 4.3 by 10 12 g every second to energy. That's 4.3 million tons a second. A wandering black hole could just end our entire solar system. You could literally be dead in the next 10 seconds. Aneurysm, embolism, heart attack, car crash, plane crash. Life is way too precious. Somebody reading this won't be alive tomorrow. When watching old sitcoms, everyone on the laughter track is dead. The sheer amount of banking and financial services that rely on Excel spreadsheets is enormous. Software generally is bad and can and does kill people. Self-driving cars are least of the problem. There's no way to actually communicate your experiences to anyone. 
When you talk to someone, all they get are the words, and must then translate them in terms of their own pre-existing knowledge and experiences. If I tell you I saw an interesting tree yesterday, the tree image in your mind will be quite different from what I saw. We can use more and more words to describe it, but actually there's no way to create a perfect model in your mind. All models are wrong incomplete. What you end up with is the bare minimum, shoddy caricature of the tree. There's a theory that the reason we can't detect any life outside of ours is due to the fact that all intelligent life is inherently self-destructive. It will crumble too fast for two separate species to be technologically advanced enough to communicate their existence to the universe. Corporations have exponentially more control over the government than constituents. Some historical facts seem to back up the story of the Pied Piper. Your immune system is unaware of your eyes. If it were to find out, your immune system would destroy then. Pineapples contain an enzyme that dissolves flesh. So this begs the real question. Who is eating who? Mosquitoes have killed half of all humans who have ever lived. You'll love these terrifying fact threads. Most of the world oxygen comes from the oceans and seas and not trees, and that's two-thirds of the planet and we're polluting it. Whatever bad thing you believe the government is doing, they're doing it and far worse. There's these things called gamma-ray bursts that happen all across the universe and release an ungodly amount of energy. If one were to happen within a few hundred light years of our solar system, it could completely eviscerate our atmosphere and kill us all. And there's zero way to detect them, nor defend against them. Hank Green made a short about these things. The US has no strategic stockpile of grain. It's just been the cash value of what should be there so they can buy grain from abroad if necessary. Only problem, look what's happening to the bread basket of the world, Ukraine, right now. Ukraine is a huge grain producer, the US is helping Ukraine not just for democracy and freedom but for future food security. That many medical scientific advancements were a result of war crimes. There's more slavery now, than at any time in history. In about 150 years from now. Who you are and the life you lived will be forgotten by those that will be alive in 2173. Don't believe me? Then tell me about your great-great-grandparents and what they were like. 0.05 of people in the UK likely have a dormant prion disease, with a 50 chance of passing it on to any kids they have had. That's an estimated 33,000 people. A lot of people don't realize just how serious the BSE outbreaks of the 80s and 90s really were. Edith Silvnell has pointed out that in confusing CJD and VCJD, which can't be passed along through genetics. Female henas don't have a normal vagina but a pseudopenis, basically female genitals disguised as a penis. In reality, it is an overgrown clitoris, but it looks like a male's genitals. The horrifying thing is that they mate and give birth through it, which is very challenging and actually quite painful. Some henas don't survive that. You could just randomly die one day, without any warning or intimation. In the US, 20 of pregnancy deaths are caused from murder. Pregnant women are more than twice as likely to be murdered than to have any actual medical complications. And more likely than not, the murderer is their significant other. Two possibilities exist either we are alone in the universe or we are not. Both are equally terrifying. Arthur C. Clarke Once clinical symptoms appear in humans, rabies is virtually 100 fatal. 93.8 of all humans who ever lived on Earth have died. If humans went extinct, literally no one would care. Human trafficking is a lucrative business The United Nations International Labour Organization estimates that, worldwide, human trafficking generates $150 billion. Two-thirds of total profits are derived from sexual exploitation, the remainder from forced economic labor. Husband of a climate researcher, people don't really know how fucked we are and how things will change in the next 30 years, because it is better to not think about it or believe what some politicians say. Edit I added other comments expanding on this point to those of you who wanted to know more. Nearly half of the American United States population is obese. 